What is it like going over there? Like leaving America and going over there to try to, I mean, what was well, the, the craziest thing was you just, you can just walk in. It was like, it was like, it's harder to go into Tijuana than it is to go to Ukraine. Like you could just like, like I went in through, I, it's, I came, right. yeah, yeah, I came out. Yes, that's it. Wow. I went in, um, I came out through Poland and I went in through Rom- Romania Jesus and I Christ just like, all those cars. yeah. Oh my yeah. God. Oh my God. So I flew to Bucharest and then drove about 10 hours to the border and then just like walked across with my duffel bag and U.S. passport. Really? It's really easy to get in. You just um, walked across? Yeah, just walked right across. It was like five minutes. Did you have it set up already to talk to people? And- I did. I had set, I had, I'd set up security. I had really good security. Um, these guys were like special forces guys, a tank hunting team, actually, that had just rotated off the front after fighting for two years. And were, you know, so basically like keeping me alive was a vacation <laughs> for them. But they were really, and I got to be really good friends with this one dude, especially the guy that was like, cause they worked in different ways. It was a team, but like there was one guy that was like attached to my hip. He was just with me 24 uh, seven, whose name was Andre. And I got to be really good buddies with this guy, just using like Google translate, you know, oh, wow. even when the interpreter wasn't around, just like really click with this guy anyway. Um, but yeah, I did have it set up where I had an interpreter, you know, a driver and security. And then I had, you know, conversations that I'd lined up, but a lot of it was people had documents or people had information that the only way I was going to get these documents or to have them tell me this information was to go to Ukraine. It was the only way they were going to, you know, trust it, trust me. How much different was it than what you expected? Well, it's, 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 I really, back to my new love for the Ukrainian people. Um, in Kiev, like, or Lviv, which is a, which is a fantastic city. It's in Eastern Ukraine near the Polish border. Um, you know, it's like you wouldn't until, until the rockets and the Iranian, Iranian drones start flying into the city, you wouldn't know anything was going on. People are out dressed nicely, going to dinner, going to bars, going to clubs, like they're out and about, you know? And then all of a sudden the air raid sirens go off and... And then, and there's this there's this app that I that I like jokingly texted my wife. I was like, this is the worst video game ever, because it's this app that that shows you what's incoming, like what kind of missiles, and how many, and what kind of drones, and how many. And then as the air defense systems shoot them down, they like blip off the screen, you know, so you can like see like the shit's coming your way and like how many are they shooting down? It's like the worst version of missile command because you can't actually do anything, right? But yet you're watching it. Wow. And um, in real time, yeah, yeah, yeah. God, yeah. So, and this is just an app you can get for your phone. Yeah, yeah. Well, the security guys had it. I don't know if anybody. Everybody has an app on their phone that alerts them when there's incoming missiles or drones, right? And how do they know that that app has not been compromised? How do they? Great know? question. I don't know. Great question. Is this it's, an app that's? Uh, is it Windows you and could get Android? It, you you it, could yes. You could get it on your phone right now. As a matter of really? fact, before I went to Ukraine, Ukraine, I, I downloaded it and installed it, and I, and I thought it'd be geofenced. But it was like the middle of the night in New Mexico, and all of a sudden it's like air raid, air raid, missiles incoming. You know, like seek shelter. So it's if if, if anybody wants to experience what it's like to be a Ukrainian right now, you can download this app. What is it called? Uh, let's take a look. Is it available for all phone anybody, platforms? Yeah, anybody, yes, anybody can get it. Um, I may have taken it off, actually, but I'm sure if you just like <laughs> Google like Ukrainian, you know, air raid app. Did you take it off because you're tired of seeing air raids? Yes. Yeah. I didn't want it that to, I didn't want it to sound anymore. So I mean, you can you can pick which parts of the country you want it to alert you to, but yeah, I mean, it was uh, <laughs> it was there was one day where the, the security guys were like, it's not safe to drive from where we were to Kiev tomorrow, so. That's the bad news because every night we would have a go, no go kind of meeting for the next day. And um, that was the one time that they were like, no go, no go. Too much shit's going on. It's not safe to drive, you know, eight hours to Kiev. Good news is it's snowing in the Carpathian Mountains, so we're going to go skiing. And I was like, what? And so the next day we did. We like drove five hours up in the mountains and there's this full on ski resort. And there's just people like the hundreds of families out skiing. And there's the fucking war going on. And it's in, it's like a day of a nationwide red alert, red alert, which means that like missiles were hitting all over. And so people are watching this app on their phone and you can see the stuff that's coming, you know, to, to the oblast, which is like a state, you know, that we're in. 
And as the stuff is being shot down, like people are like cheering from the chairlifts. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. yeah. Oh my so, god! I mean, it's just like that. That fucking fuck you spirit that they have is, I think, impressive. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I have a friend from Israel, and uh, uh, I had he's a kickboxing coach. My friend Shuki, and when he was living in America, he lives in Israel now. But when he was living in America, uh, I went over his house for dinner and. Him and his wife, they'd be playing the bongos and dancing, and uh, and and I'm like, you guys are like, you have so much spirit, like you're so filled with fun. Yeah. And he's like, my friend, when you live in Israel, he goes every day, like you could die. There's so something every day is party, party, have a good time, enjoy your life. Yeah. And it's like the same kind of thing. Unfortunately, like post 9/11, like you need something horrible to happen for you to appreciate the good. And appreciate peace and appreciate joy. Yeah. And that's what's, that's a crazy thought is that the thing that's going to cure what ails us is conflict and getting together and banding together to fight a common evil, right. which is just so bizarre.